There had to be a reason why nobody had done it. More complicated, is more expensive. So the whole thing doesn't make any sense. It's kind of rather Christopher Ward in its way. It was an email from one of our Austrian customers. He wanted to buy a proper super compressor watch. And he felt that we were just, just the brand <laughs> to take on the challenge of creating a genuine super compressor. A super compressor has a spring on the case bag that get compressed the more pressure you have from the outside. So more deep you go and more the case become watertight. The real value is in that really imaginative piece of engineering. The know-how was gone. So we did our research and we became fascinated. We only had um, a few old watches that we broke down. You go to a, a level of madness of trial and error. We like a challenge. How can we make it better? But we also like authenticity. We took this as a challenge and in the design you can see that on the back is the first time ever that a subcompressor has been done with uh, the visibility on the spring. And at, even today, I think it's one of the most underappreciated things we've ever done as a brand. What we need is to surpass ourselves. I think there is, there is always this quest of doing better and, and, and try to push boundaries. But we've improved it further. It's got the coin on the back. Um, with the helmet, which was one of the signifiers that Irving Picaret used to say it was a genuine super compressor. It's a good addition because it tells a forgotten story. It deserves to have attention paid to it. I think we're still the only real super compressor sold in today's world. And the fact that it started with a customer is kind of deeply authentic.